Hey everyone, welcome back to the Summer of Carnage right here on the Venom Vlog. And today we have another Absolute Carnage tie-in book that we're going to review. And again, it's going to be more of a review, so I'll try not to spoil everything that's in here. But there is some cool stuff in this book, so we're going to talk a little bit about it. So just for spoiler's sake, um, you know, I have Absolute Carnage number two versus Deadpool. I'm going to get out the digital code. Boom, right there. First person to put that code in gets the comic book and uh, enjoy it. And if you did get it, let me know your review of the comic uh, down in the comments down below. So, all right. So without further ado, because I'm already getting tongue-tied this morning, uh, let's dive right into Absolute Carnage uh, versus Deadpool number two. And we start off with Carnage recruiting some villains from Ravencroft. Uh, he's got the Will of the Wisp character. He's got Conundrum and he's got Freak, uh, who are all different Spider-Man villains from different eras, like 80s, 90s, and, 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 you know, current with the Dan Slott stuff with Freak. I think he came in during that run during and brand new day and stuff and uh, and so he's recruited them and he's given them each symbiotes and he's sending them out after deadpool who is a big annoyance to him uh what i like about this book is that they do some fun gags in it especially with the uh you know answering questions like fan questions but with the little captions here that the editors put in so you have jake who's editing this book he says uh you know there's a line where carnage says you know there are uh, we you know deadpool is a uh, kind of a unicorn in a way which by the way this book kind of gives us another unicorn so we'll talk about that in that book um but uh he says, you know, he bonded with four symbiotes and he's the only one who's ever done that. And so I think there's a lot of codices in him, like juice to get out of him. So if I can get that from Deadpool, I'll be very, very strong. And I'm thinking he's going to do it because Deadpool can survive that. He, he could rip his spine out and he'll still live. So that's a great way to give Carnage what he needs and make him more powerful and up the ante for the ending of the book. But then also, you know, have Deadpool not be dead. <laughs> so, uh, so I think that's great. But so that he mentions that he merged with four symbiotes, but then Jake comes in and says five, if you count Deadpool pull back in black and then Devin the the editor from the main you know Venom books and stuff and Absolute Carnage uh, Devin came in and says yeah we don't count that <laughs> and then uh, Jake says get out of my book Devin so I like that because they address something that fans have been talking about which is you know was Wade really the first host of the symbiote before it went to Spider-Man. And obviously we know that's not true now because we learned about uh, Tel Car, you know, the, the Kree soldier that became a host uh, before all of that, before even it reached uh, Battle World for Spider-Man to get a hold of. Uh, but they do, it looks like they kind of are retconning that in a fun Deadpool way where it's like, hey, if you're a Deadpool fan and you like that story, sure, it still counts. But if not, and that seems to be the case, like I see a lot of that with Donnie is he'll say things like, oh, look, it, you know, Venom had cancer or Eddie Brock had cancer. He felt that that was real and it happened to him. So it's real to him. But we're going to retcon that. And I'm like, uh, I don't like that. I don't like that gray area there. Uh, but, you know, I guess it works because it's comics. But still, to me, I'm like, ah, I don't know. I like a little bit more commitment and things. So either say it, it happened or it didn't. Uh, but, uh, you know, I know why he's afraid to say that didn't happen because a lot of people connected with that storyline, The Last Temptation of Eddie Brock, where he had cancer and he was, you know, he tried to kill himself at the end. Like, that's a that was a big moment, especially for me when I read it and then reread it, you know, recently too, was just heartbreaking. And uh, so to me, I, I don't want that retcon. I think it's such a pivotal point for that character. And then because he had cancer is how he became anti-venom. So to me, it's like you can't fake that he had cancer because then he couldn't have become anti-venom. I don't know, whatever. It doesn't matter. So uh, I'm going off on a rant. Uh, but this book at, at least was a lot of fun. And I thought this was actually more fun than the first issue. And I really love this conversation between Spider-Man and Deadpool, where Spider-Man calls him up and he's like, hey, I need your help. And then he's like, oh, now you need my help. After we broke up in the first issue and we're not buddies anymore, now you want to come in and have me be your friend. And he's like, wait, this is serious. Like, you know, you know what's going on. And uh, it's great. It's awesome. And then you get some great artwork here. Um, this great splash page with Venom fighting all the carnages. Uh, Marcelo Fiera, uh, Fer Ferreira, who did the first issue, I believe, too, uh, just killed it on this book the art is fantastic and uh frank terry just writing it just nailed it made me laugh on multiple pages this is the kind of stuff like i'm not a big deadpool fan but some writers like Frank Thierry, Colin Bunn, a couple other writers, um, you know, Jeff Loeb, I think when he did a little bit of it, Daniel Way was a little too serious, but I kind of liked that too because it felt different from the other stuff. But uh, but but he did go a little crazy with them too in his run. Um, I I like Deadpool when he's done well. I think Fabian Nitzieza did okay with him during the Cable Deadpool stuff, uh, which was a series I bought every issue of because I like Cable, but I ended up being like, all right, that was like my first real acceptance, I think, of Deadpool. And then I went and read some other stuff of his, uh, of the character and stuff. So I, I get the appeal, but I'm not always on board. But this, in this book, I thought Frank Thierry did the balancing really well. And I loved that it's basically Deadpool versus Will of the Wisp, Conundrum, and Freak, to, like with Carnage symbiotes on them through the whole issue. And it's him trying to outthink them and outsmart them. And uh, it's done so well. And it's very clever at times and very stupid at other times, but purposely. And I love that. I thought it was fantastic. And uh, it has a big moment at the end. And we are going to see, I mean, 
you know, I will make another episode of this. There's the animated stuff where they're doing like episodes where it's like, you know, Norman Osborn with the Carnage symbiote. The third episode came out this week. So I probably will do that as my last video today. But uh, what I, I, it's weird because I'm like, that character is everywhere. Like Norman Osborn Carnage is almost in every book, uh, which is crazy. And uh, so he's here too. So it's just, I'm, I'm wondering a timeline of when he's bouncing to all these different things. I guess, again, it's comics. You're not really supposed to focus on that. But what I like is that they really are utilizing the character. They really are going all in with this Norman Osborn who thinks he's Cletus Cassidy. Uh, and they're having some real fun with it, especially on the last page of this book. So I'm excited. But I do hope in the end, at least in the third issue, I hope we do get a Deadpool versus like real carnage, like real Cletus, you know, null carnage, God carnage, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I hope we get that battle in the third issue because that's the one thing we haven't really gotten so far in this series. So, and it is called Absolute Carnage versus Deadpool. So it's like, I know, I understand it's the Absolute Carnage event versus Deadpool, but I hope we do get to see, you know, the actual carnage fight him as well. So anyway, I, I had fun. I thought this book was better than the first issue and I highly recommend it. I can't actually recommend it enough, especially if you're a Deadpool fan, but if you're buying the Absolute Carnage tie-ins, definitely pick it up as well. And like I said, if you got the digital code let me know your review down below and if you read it yourself let me know your thoughts down below as well and i don't want to spoil any more than that uh, so that's where we'll end this video so thank you so much for watching as always leave your comments down below we'll continue our conversation down there and i will see you guys all in the future don't forget to like share subscribe all that fun stuff see you later peace